In this example, I'm going to show you another easy way of getting your SAS data into SAS for analysis. Here's a data set someone's emailed to me. You can see it's a SAS data set, and it's in the folder My New Data. We're going to create a new library that points to this location on my Windows desktop. We begin by opening Libraries in the SAS Explorer window. Then we navigate to the File menu and select New to create a new library. Specify a name for our new library. I'm going to call mine New Lib. Now since this is a SAS data set, I'm going to leave the engine as default, and I'm going to choose Enable at Startup, since I want this to be a permanent library. Select the Browse button, and navigate to the location on my desktop where the folder is. I'm going to open the folder itself, and then select OK. And you can see the path has been filled in for me. Click OK, and this new library now appears in the SAS Explorer window. Here it is, new lib, with my data set, example DB. At this point, we're basically done. You can see that if I want to refer to this data set, I can just use the standard two-part naming convention, first referring to the library, new lib, and then the data set name, example DB. When I run this code, you can see that the data set is indeed available for analysis within the SAS system.